Well, um, I was always around it. I was immersed in uh, my dad's profession since uh, I, I was born, basically. There's pictures of me as a six-week-old baby hanging on to the bottom rope, and my dad's just, you know, right in front of me looking at me. So, uh, which is kind of, I guess it kind of foreshadowed my career. You know, my, my dad's on the sidelines. He's behind the scenes now, and I'm the one in the ring, and he's still, you know, coaching me from the sideline. But, um, I mean, it was it was everything I've ever wanted to do uh, from as long as I can remember. And I never changed it, always wanted to do it. And uh, so I guess when um, probably I was about 14, my dad's like, all right, well, uh, you're going to go a different route than uh, most people would expect you to. Because um, my dad works with WWE, obviously. Uh, and he was like, you're going to go travel, you're going to go to England, you're going to work for Brian Dixon, you're going to go to Japan, and then – if you want to come here, come here. But uh, I love Japan way too much to ever leave. So. Now, that's awesome. And obviously, you know, for the non, and I'll say, quote, educated fan, obviously we're not talking to, uh, to Hornswoggle. So for those who think that Hornswoggle <laughs> is Fit Finley's son, we're not talking to Hornswoggle. But, David, you know, we talk about your dad, and obviously, like I said, he's played such a part Really, and I even say, in, you know, in women's wrestling, he's changed the way that women's wrestling is looked at. Now in 2017, I mean, obviously the progression from where it was, you know, 10, 12 years ago to now is off the charts. But how is your dad as a mentor, as a teacher, and really giving you the, uh, the advice and the instructions? Like you said, he told you to get over to England, and obviously that was a stepping stone. But how is your dad's, uh, you know, just obvious, uh, ridiculous amount of knowledge about professional wrestling? How's that really helped you along in your early stages of your career? Uh, well, it's helped me in every aspect. Obviously, in ring and me also out of ring is where it's been most valuable. I mean, like my dad is my hero. I think he's the greatest guy that's ever walked this planet. Um, and so, like, I have a girlfriend right now, and we've been together the entire time. I've been in Japan, and uh, we've been best friends since I was 16. So, like, just learning from him how to handle, you know, a relationship boy on the road is one thing. How to handle your money, how to handle yourself professionally. Uh, locker room etiquette, all that stuff. It's obviously, you know, teach me how to wrestle and stuff. That's the obvious one. But just literally every aspect of this business, he's been such, such a, such a help. So, uh, like, just invaluable. Yeah, and, you know, in the 90s growing up, you know, we always read his name in the, you know, in the magazines. And when we saw him finally come over to the States, you know, when he became a part of WCW, we got to see that brawling style, that hard-hitting style. But, you know, what would you say you consider your style to be compared to what was that of your father? Um, I like to think I'm a little similar, but also a little different. I, I don't think you can really categorize my style in anything. Like, I don't really fly around. I kind of sort of brawl, but I just kind of throw myself at you and whatever happens, happens. So I don't know what you want to call that, but that's what I do. Now, obviously, your father is a huge legend in the wrestling business, whether it be out of the ring or in the ring. I love his feud with Regal. I mean, so many great moments that he had in his career. But what was it like when you make your debut and you're actually teaming with your father, obviously against uh, Robbie Brookside and Danny Boy, but what was it like teaming with him? Um, well, a little backstory in that uh... – when my dad was back wrestling in Germany before he came over to the States, uh, Robert Brookside and Danny Collins were also uh, wrestling with him in the CWA. And uh, Robbie Brookside was in his early to mid-20s, probably about the same age as I am right now, which is 23. And uh, little two-year-old me was convinced that Robbie Brookside was my older brother because he just always <laughs> took care of me. So uh, not only was it special to you know be in the ring with my dad, it was also special being there with Danny Collins and Robbie Brookside and uh, – but uh, that match was actually bittersweet for me because uh, my dad was going into the match retiring, and the way it came about was uh, he came up to me one day and was just like, oh, I think I'm done wrestling. I was like, what do you mean? He was like, oh, I just you know, don't really enjoy it as much anymore. Uh, and he, he already had a job back with WWE. He had previously been fired. And so he just really got more joy out of producing. So he came up to me and was like, I, I think I'm done. Do you want to tag together? And I hadn't, I hadn't had a match yet. So I was like, yeah, of course, sure. Um, not thinking it was an actual, like, serious thought. I thought it was just a win with my dad. My dad tends to have these little wins from time to time. And uh, 
Sure enough, two weeks later, he's like, oh, we're going to uh, Germany on this day. And it was about three weeks out. And I was like, Dad, I don't know how to wrestle yet. <laughs> Even though we had, I grew up with a ring in my house. But uh, my dad was always on the road. I was an amateur wrestler. So I, I was in school, so there was never really any time. Because when he was home, it was family time, and I never wanted to take away from that because I have a brother and a sister. Um, so, uh, you know, I, he put me on a crash course, and we just went out there and wrestled. And when it was over and done, it was, it, was, uh, it was bittersweet. I remember hugging my dad in the ring and fighting back tears, actually, because he's my hero, and I was like, oh, I'm never going to get to see him wrestle again. But on the flip side of that, I remember he talking to my ear, just going, like, after the match was over, like, all right, torch is in your hands. And uh, so that, I, I felt like I was a little bit of pressure, but it was also uh, uh, comforting to know that my dad trusted me with uh, the legacy that he built. Which is awesome. And you said it was sweet, but it's quite a debut. If you're an outsider looking in, it's almost like, wow, you know, you're debuting with – huge legend in the business. You get a team with him. Obviously, it's your father. So, I mean, there's another added aspect to it of it that's really cool. But what about being a fourth-generation pro wrestler? Because I don't know if there's any of them around, and it's kind of rare. I mean, we always hear about third generation with The Rock and Randy Orton and stuff, but fourth generation, that's pretty big time. 